Welcome to this presentation on driving LEDs, AC-DC power supplies, part of Osram Opto Semiconductor's LED Fundamentals series. In this presentation, we will look at the typical circuit structure of AC-DC drivers, the importance of triac dimmability, and some of the standards covering drivers for LED systems. Just like any other electronic component, LEDs should be driven properly for improved efficacy, better reliability, and longer lifetime. Because of some of the fundamental variations, such as VF mismatch between LEDs and color variation within the same bin, even more care needs to be taken when deciding what type of driving method is suitable for LEDs in a particular application. Some of the key parameters that play a major role in selecting a proper driving method are expected junction temperature of the LED, expected VF mismatch between LEDs and or LED strings, color accuracy required, and whether dimming is required. As mentioned earlier, understanding some of the electrical, optical, and thermal characteristics of an LED is required to properly select a driving method for an LED circuit or system. An IV characteristic that is similar to standard diodes makes LEDs better driven with a constant current source. Also, optical characteristics such as color shift versus LED current and thermal characteristics such as VF and color shift versus junction temperature of an LED also play a key role in selecting a proper driving method. When selecting a proper driving method for an LED application, just considering electrical characteristics of an LED is not sufficient. Electrical, optical, and thermal characteristics should be considered to select the appropriate driving method for an LED system. There are three commonly used methods of driving LEDs. Resistor discrete base driving, linear driver-based driving, and switching driver-based driving. This presentation covers switching driver-based AC-DC driver power supplies. When it comes to LED systems, efficacy in lumens per watt is one of the measures that makes LED systems more attractive when compared to traditional lighting systems. The efficacy of an LED system can be improved by optimizing electrical, thermal, and optical efficiencies of the overall system. This presentation covers the optimized driver, one of the key areas that should be considered to improve electrical efficiency of an LED system. Switching regulators offer flexibility in the design and the advantage of increased power conversion efficiency, especially in high power applications. An AC-DC driver would take an AC voltage from the mains and convert it into either fixed DC voltage or constant DC current. A switching driver IC within an AC-DC driver acts as the brain of the driver. For more information on switching drivers, please refer to LED Fundamentals Driving LEDs Switching Drivers. The output of an AC-DC driver can be fixed voltage or constant current. Since LED circuits and systems are better operated with fixed current, constant current type AC-DC drivers are explained in this presentation. The intention of this presentation is to provide the viewer with basic understanding of AC-DC drivers. Therefore, the information in this presentation is very basic in nature. An AC-DC driver can have the following constructions. An AC-DC driver without power factor correction, an AC-DC driver with power factor correction, an AC-DC driver can be triac dimmable, non-dimmable, or dimmed by other means such as 0 to 10 volt dimming. For regulatory reasons such as Energy Star, a power factor of greater than 0.9 is required for commercial applications, and a power factor of greater than 0.7 is required for residential applications. For more information on power factor, 
please consult the application guide, Power Factor Correction Basics, on the Tools tab under Technical Papers and Presentations on this website. There are two widely used configurations of AC-DC drivers. The first is called a two-stage design, in which there are two sets of circuits used to regulate output. The PFC circuit is the first part of the circuit. This circuit generally employs a boost-type topology and would have a fixed DC voltage output. The second part of the circuit is generally a buck-type topology to convert the PFC output of approximately 400 volts DC into fixed voltage or constant current. For more information on boost or buck topologies, please refer to LED Fundamental Driving LEDs Switching Drivers. The second widely used configuration is called single stage design, in which both stages of a two stage design are combined. Efficiency of an overall power system, in this case an AC DC driver, is highly dependent on the number of stages for the overall system. This is due to the fact that the overall efficiency is the product of all the stages. The higher the number of stages, the lower the overall efficiency. For example, if stages 1 and 2 each have an efficiency of 90%, the overall system efficiency would only be 81%. There are many driver ICs available on the market to design a two-stage AC-DC driver. Shown in this slide is a block diagram of a two-stage design from Infineon Technologies. The first stage is the AC to fix DC voltage block with PFC. The second stage is the fixed DC to constant current conversion that is suitable to drive the LEDs. This stage can utilize a linear or switching driver. Infineon Technologies VCR450 is one of the many drivers that are available in the market. A two-stage AC-DC driver will have very low output ripple, generally in the range of 5 to 20 percent. The ripple frequency on a two-stage design is equivalent to the switching frequency of the driver. Also, total harmonic distortion, or THD, can be kept below 15 to 20 percent. The total harmonic distortion of a signal is a measurement of the harmonic distortion present and is defined as the ratio of the sum of the powers of all harmonic components to the power of the fundamental frequency. One of the other advantages of a two-stage design is that it exhibits better transient response compared to a single-stage design. At a very high level view, any sudden change in a signal is regarded as transient. A better transient response from a system would ensure stable operation of the system due to transient events. As a drawback, a two-stage design will cost more because of component count and PCB size. In a single-stage design, only one driver IC is used instead of two. Shown in this slide is Affineon Technologies ICL802G in single-stage configuration. Compared to two-stage design, a single-stage design will have much lower component count. A single-stage AC-DC driver will have significantly higher output ripple, generally in the range of 20 to 50 percent. The ripple frequency on a single-stage design is equivalent to two times the input voltage frequency. Also, total harmonic distortion can be over 20 percent which may not comply with some standards, such as Energy Star. The advantages of a single-stage design include more efficiency, lower cost, and reduced size. When designing or selecting a proper AC-DC driver for an LED circuit or system, it is always good to understand what type of design configuration is utilized with the AC-DC driver. Between the two commonly used designs of two-stage and single-stage, there are advantages and disadvantages of each design. 
A two-stage design will have better output regulation with lower ripple, lower THD, and better transient response, while a single-stage design would offer better efficiency, lower cost, less PCB area for the driver, and less overall component count. Triac dimming is widely accepted in the lighting industry for various reasons. When a traditional lighting source, such as incandescent or fluorescent, is replaced with an LED system, it is always expected that the triac dimmer should work with the LED system as well. The function of a triac is to chop the AC voltage and keep it at zero for a period of time that depends on the setting of the dimmer. When selecting an AC-DC driver for an LED system, be sure that the driver will operate with a triac dimmer. In many cases, an AC-DC driver designed for LED systems needs to be in compliance with some of the industry standards, such as UL, NEMA, and ENERGY STAR. The applicable standards depend on the application and geographical region. For more information on standards, please refer to Dr. Jin Zhao's training videos, LED and SSL standardization regulations, on the knowledge section of this website. In conclusion, there are two widely used designs of AC-DC drivers. One is the two-stage design, and the other is the single-stage design. AC-DC drivers can be power factor corrected or not. For regulatory requirements, such as Energy Star, power factor correction in LED drivers is required. A driver with triac compatibility is also expected as most of the traditional lighting sources are presently dimmed using triac dimmers. To select the appropriate driver solution, a deep understanding of the application and its requirements at system level is required. Please refer to the LED fundamental, driving LEDs, resistors, and linear drivers on this website for additional information. Thank you for viewing this presentation by Osram Opto Semiconductors.